Wow. Alright guys, so welcome to Nangrim. Or well, return to Nangrim, shall I say. It's cold. I should look out for a shelter. I must have brought some equipment with me. Well, so we've got I a new quest. Way out of the cold. I woke up with an unbearable headache where I am. What am I doing here? And most importantly, who am I? I'm shaking and it's getting darker, I should look for shelter. So I don't know much about this game, but from what I did read it's a dwarven survival game. And I'm a big fan of dwarves, so I had to check it out. And I thought I'd share it with you as well. Ooh, controller? Can I actually use... Should I play with a controller? Uh, Gamepad input can activate, blah blah blah. I guess I can play with a controller. I'll see which better, controller or keyboard. I can't go over that bridge without repairing it first. This sensitivity is super. It's over that bridge, but it's so desolate. It's even missing some planks. The sensitivity is so, so high. I need to change that. I can't at the moment. Okay. Inspect wooden planks. Simple wooden planks could be used for repairing things. I need something to store this in. Oh, I've got. We literally haven't got anything at the moment, so I guess we'll go this way. Oh, there's a bag. <laughs> guess we'll take that. I'll need this for sure. Um. I guess we'll go this way instead of across the bridge because. Handle of an axe. I've got the handle of an axe. Now, if Calderon means me well, there might be a chance I'll find the corresponding head. Glam mushroom. Glowing shroom. 
Alright, so we've got a general inventory, documents, quests. Firmly barricaded. So yeah, I'm guessing we can't go that way. So we've got to cross the bridge. But yeah, this is a dwarven explore adventure, if, if that's what you can call it. We're basically a dwarf and we have to fight beasties and craft different things as we go. It's only a playable teaser at the moment and I really want to check it out, but if you do like it, there will be a lot more of this on the channel because, I'm, like I said, I'm a massive fan of dwarves. It's a, it's a real shame dwarves aren't in Elder Scrolls, but... That will do the job. That's my dwarven accent for you. <laughs> How do I choose an item? Is it X? Oh, I am choosing an item. Right? Repair. Yeah, I don't know how to. Oh, there you go. Right, let's take a look. Get ourselves an axe. I don't know what she's for at the moment, but I'm, I'm going to be picking up everything. Because why not? The way. So I guess since this is blocking the way, do we can we punch? Oh, we can. Show me can't see our feet. Those the way. Final, oh, axe head. <laughs> the luck of a dwarf. The luck of a dwarf. So how do we combine that? Yeah, this is in playable teaser at the moment because it's not out, so there, there might be a few bugs. But I am currently trying to figure out how to... Build my axe. Oh, press up. Okay. Up on the D pad is all this stuff. Right. But how do I actually use any of it? I'm pressing that L, R, B, and LB, but nothing's happening. Alright, maybe we won't use a controller then. We'll go back to mouse and keyboard. Seems to be a bit easier. Uh, items, so how do we... Oh yeah, combine with axe head. F. Now we have an axe! I guess we should... Equip that. Oh, look at it, we got an axe. Can we do it? That'd be amazing if we could. Here we go. Well, should we go back that way now, since we've got an axe? Guess it won't hurt to check. Just a quick peek. What's the worst that can happen? Can we even... Oh yes we can. Oh it's just more mushrooms I'll take it I guess. What's this? Oh wood. We'll pick up everything. We might need it. I guess that was that. <laughs> they boarded up a mushroom and some wood. This game, it's so. So amazing, look at that. Light coming down from the trees. Onwards. Finally. Let's see what's behind that door. So, when this game does officially release, I hope. I hope we get to, um. Customize a dwarf. 
even though we can't see him, but that'd be, it'd still be pretty cool to customize around the Alright, so we're in the Dwarven training site, and we're going to pick up everything we can. Are we? Okay. What's this? Note from Baggin. Uh, read. Baggin, could you please prioritize my order? Also, this time, please do it yourself. It's the second time that Daggerun has banned the book, and again, the pages fell flying out through the system. I know you are not only a Gisperin, <laughs> but also a teacher. And am I dying? I should probably eat. Right? How do I eat? Where's my health bar? For example. Oh yeah, ed edibles. Right, go back. Go back to that. Inventory. All resources. Edibles. So how do we eat it? It says edible, but I don't actually know how to eat it. Did I just die? I think I just died and the game just crashed. Well, I'm gonna reload this and I'll be right back with you. Right, we're right back. Okay, so it wasn't dying by hunger, we were actually dying by a little spider I just killed. <laughs> and there's more of these spiders. Where are they coming from? Right, let's read this before any more spiders. Yeah, so, where we left off? Uh, I know you are not the only a wizard, but also a teacher. And that you believe that something will come out of that stone. We are getting. Just that. I can't remember why that was part of that, I guess. Right, let's put it back in. Uh, oh, that would be items, I guess. And then it'll be what? Misc? No. Keys? All? Don't journal, maybe? Oh, doc documents. Of course. Uh, let you believe that something will come out of stone, but I am not going to tolerate a book that has fallen apart again. There are also still pages spread around the citadel. Teach him a lesson and let Danagram, Danagron, or Danagron, sorry, gather them together. So, what? There's plenty of pages. These spiders, man. Right. Was that not a spider? Yes, it was. But I don't think they follow us, so we'll just leave them for now. We've got a key, at least. Picked out. Okay, what's... Is it that? The lock still seems to be working, but not without a key. Okay, so we've got that's not the scriptorium, as he said. There's another shiny thing there. That's closed. Because that door will be closed as well. Oh, another one. I learned some more. I came wandering our kingdom. His garments were filled and half dead at first. He said the uh, Nimble Mountains. 
He had to climb. Foolish is he with the equipment that he has. No real dwarf would ever try such a daring undertaking with a canted axe like his and boots worn out, allowing the cold to move in. Set him off, sent him off. I would have a gracious at the heart of our king is. He advised us to accommodate him and prepare equipment for his departure. I, thought, I almost thought that said the arrow gun then. <laughs> No, I'm not going to read that. Uh, already made his famous delicious Frinstenstein pie, I guess, and Bella strained little boots of the finest fur as well as shovel gloves from Escard. But how is he supposed to climb with just the lousy axe? Assigned by the king was hauled off to fortune, the Snowbeard's famous axe, but how should it be? The drunkard had already passed out in the tavern, so I why is Borgia even getting served in the morning? Either way, I'll try to find out more and s send you the details for the work piece. I'll pick it up. Look at that. Yes. Spider's down there. Oh! <laughs> that's creepy. <laughs> Flipping. Pumpkins are following me wherever I go. Right, not there. Oh, the body. Oh, I'm guessing the door back down there was the scriptorium then. Can we take this guy's armor? Open duties. Get book fittings. Choose fabrics for girdle boots. Transcribe Barganas book three times. Pick more of those red mushrooms. I love those mushrooms. <laughs> Who doesn't? Note to myself, clean up scriptorium before Bagan finds out the mush spilling okay can I stop doing pick up there's one more here give me some more details the axe is called winter strike and with it it's light pounds is probably made for such an adventure unfortunately the exact recipe is unknown and asking holder well allow me to say that this is not an option the apprentice says that its head is 33 and Four fifths times heavier than its wooden handle, but what does someone like me know? It is up to a master blacksmith that the honour of the king might not get tarnished. The apprentice found a sketch in Holdor's forge. I will not forget the special alloy needed for this weapon. Two in number, if I recall correctly, only if I remember the name. Either way, I don't use the expensive iron or wood. Okay. Question is, is there full damage? No. Neutronal server. Well, that's a lot. Oh, it's a. This is kind of. This is our journey almost. I reckon we're on our journey. Guess we'll go over here. Okay, so where do we go? What's our quest? Make way to the city though. There's a city that I could provide. Shelter I should go there. We are there though. Do we go back? The lock still seems to be working, but not without a key. Do we pick up the key? Oh, okay, we'll go for this door. If you'd like me to read those, I will. Just put in the comments. Oh, 
Oh, that's the poem. I'm not going to read that. Oh, he doesn't look too good, does he? Hope you won't read this letter, as it means I am dead, and you are in danger too. Those forces formed the minds, something terrible was going to happen. The stone widows coming further up the tunnel, the storms, not to mention the incident with Endon. There is something going on, and I'll, I'm not talking about the travel theories of those hidden stone cults. Danogron, Danaron, I might just be losing my mind, but still, if you read this letter, please leave as far as you can. There's something coming, I will not abandon my post, but you are not bound to anything. You could grow into something big. Please don't waste your full potential on us old beers. May fall on watch over you. Back on. The key to the mine. What about the key, but I guess we come on. There's a lot of these pages around. Nope. No, not that. Reading. One. Reading. Even if reading is considered a basic requirement, careful and accurate reading must be mastered by every young beard and braid. Some text carries secrets and hidden information. I probably can't avoid it. Yeah, what my guy said. Oh, it's a chest. I didn't, I've Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do a spoon. So that's a ledger, kind of, of who is reading. Well, two is taking books in and bringing them back. Kind of like a library. Guess I'll take that. Like I said before, this is only a Brimfell's mines. We have the Keeper of Mines, I think. Yeah. Like I said, this is only a uh, playable teaser, so I don't really know how far we can go, or if we can go as far as we like, but there's certain things that we can't do. I guess we will find out. More a bit. Just the frame right there is a bit dreary. More of these. Take them. New journal entry. So I guess we do some higher uh, mining and chopping. There's no axe. I can't chop wood with a rusty axe. Oh, then we'll get a new one. I can't chop wood with a rusty axe. I'm sorry, rusty friend. No, <laughs> rusty friend. <laughs> I guess we'll call that number two. Oh wait. How do I... I mean every good dwarf uses a two-handed axe. I mean who wants to use it? Looks one? like a storm is coming from the south. Wow, look at that. If only there wasn't a storm. I guess. That'd be your amazing to look at. Find the mine tunnel entrance. Look at that. 
that's just the light coming over the mountain. Right, guess we're gonna have to get wood. I probably know what you're thinking, <laughs> but I'm not gonna say it. We're gonna go up here. Try to anyway. Oh. Can we even get up here? I guess not. We're gonna avoid. Uh, yeah, we need a pickaxe, I guess, to get this. Oh, blood. Plenty of blood. Uh, we'll go this way. That's a Look at that. Crystal, green crystal. That's a giant spider. Sorry to those of you who have arachnophobia. So that's a male widow. And we did read a uh, journal piece back there saying a mother widow, so I'm guessing you know the female is much bigger. Cause that's how it usually is in the arachnid world. The female is usually bigger than the than the male. I mean I'm no expert but I'm guessing that's how it goes. Oh god, okay. Looking to the forge. And it seems you're the reason why that mine overseer is lying over there. At least he killed you first. Uh. Hopefully there's no alive version crawling around somewhere. Yeah. Brace yourself for the dangers ahead. A giant stone widow has been has killed the mine overseer, a strange behaviour, even for this type of creature. There seems to be something down in the tunnels, but I can't go down there without proper equipment. Before I start to forge something, I need to gather the necessary resources, which are... Uh, so he's the local mine overseer. Oh. He was the mine overseer because <laughs> he's nothing but a skeleton. Hey, we've got a pig. A pickaxe. A pickaxe. Look at that. The dwarven architecture, especially in Lord of the Rings, is just, it's just beautiful. Resources. 
A forge cannot be fired without wood and all those precious objects and weapons cannot be crafted without ores. Gather them. Yes, sir. Let's see what we will learn now. Guess I'm, I'm guessing we should put the... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. that. That's Oh, that's a one-handed. This is a two-handed. But is there any way I can hotkey? Look at that. Is there any way I can hot? No, I guess not. Oh. That gate blocks my way. I wonder what's on the other side. Oh, we see the, the shadow. A giant spider. I'm guessing we should change this to get some stuff. Uh, good. Don't really know how much I need, so I'm just gonna pick a few of these up. Should be enough. We'll head back to the forge and see if we can find something good. Where's the forge though? Forge. Ah, the forge. Let's get to work. <laughs> up a dwarf. There must be some plans from the smith lying around. Iridium equals one platinum plus. Hello, it's containing the iron. Okay, I'll take that. I need that. Fire All forge. Right. Let's heat the furnace. What am I doing? I guess we. Oh, then close the flat. Okay, I don't really know, but we'll guess we'll go over here. Oh, what's something there? Lecture three, forging. Now, as you have all the resources you need, it's time to head to the forge and start crafting. Make sure to always have an eye on the furnace's temperature. Forging or smelting at the wrong temperatures will destroy your workpiece, even though these waste clumps can be molten back to the original ingredients. There's always a loss. Another page of the book. Oh, okay. Whoa. Okay. Guess we'll keep it in there for now. I've got a potato. And a key pot. That's a spoon. Why would I make a spoon? To eat, I guess. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> as much as I appreciate your ingenuity, rolling a stone key with tin is not a permanent solution. That thing broke in two pieces again as soon as I lifted it from the table. Remember, keep an eye on the detail and you'll see some you'll see which materials can use. Concerning the stone key with its golden engravings, I guess that should be clear now, isn't it? There's a broken stone keychain on the table. Maybe that letter is talking about that one. Yeah. 
That's a spoon. How to forge a basic spoon. Temperature is level 3, I guess. Okay. What's this? Basic cup. Okay, that's level 3 as well, 1 iron. And the axe, light battle axe. Wood iron, bronze, dirt steel, that's also a level 3 temperature. And this is art of smelting. There's a page where it's at. Okay, we'll take that with us as well. Guess we'll take all this. Is it not a button to take all? Too heavy. Oh, okay, I'm too heavy. The ore needs smelting. There must be some plans from the smith lying around. All right, what was it? Let's do a light battle axe. So it was iron, bronze, and dirt steel. Oh, I oh, need bronze and dirt steel. Bronze. Do I have any bronze? No, I don't. Too heavy. Too heavy. Okay, can't. Well, I guess we put some. Oh, that's cool. How do we make dust steel though? No plans, okay. Where does the smith hide his gold? Copper. Guess we'll make a cup. A basic cup. But we don't have any copper. I'm guessing. Keys. We do have a key though, don't we? Hmm. There's got to be another thing around here somewhere that teaches us how to smelt. But I'm not seeing anything as of right now. I'm guessing if I put... What does that make? Looks like a clump of waste. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know that does. Too heavy. Too heavy. Okay, uh, I guess... Too heavy. Uh, stones, torches, resources. Oh yeah, well, uh, whoa, almost overweight. Well, let's drop some stuff then. We don't need all, all this. I'm glad, uh, don't need, uh, I guess I'll drop that as well. Shame we don't have to put this back in the... Eh, <laughs> just pass on the ground. Shame we can't put it in here. There's no jewel still. Oh, I'll take some of that. I'll take some copper. What was it? Is it iron as well? No, yeah, it was copper, wasn't it? There must be some plans from the smith lying around. So it was iron, copper, dust. Was that it?
bronze. But how do we make bronze? Let's take a look. Books. Oh, they're smelting. Okay, let's go back in this book. Iron. Nope. Hard grid iron. Nope. Alloys. For example, the bronze or alloy is very popular among the dwarfs. Dwarf and smiths, quite beautiful ornaments and weapons shields. Three parts copper, one part tin. Al door still was alloyed with three parts iron, one part platinum. But we've got door still, so we need what? Copper and tin. The ore needs smelting. And if we do that, that should give us. Oh yeah, it was three parts, three parts copper, one part tin. I do believe. Looks like a clump of waste. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I put that back in there. All that gets out of it. Oh, we get our resources back. That's cool. I'll bring you back, guys, when I figure this out. I hope the forge is too hot. Bronze. Awesome, we did it. The hammer hits the anvil. That's what was it? Five one one, okay. Gotcha. One, one. Do we need any wood? Needs to be hot. Needs to be level three forge. So as hard as we can go. Forge. I should try to smelt it to get back some of the resources. Yes, we should. And we have them, we just can't make an axe. It says free, doesn't it? Oh, we didn't put the wood in. There we go. Cook that. Can we cook that in two? Can we do it? Oh, we can do it. Oh, 
I forged a weapon and equipped it myself. I'm ready to find out what is waiting down there. Well, we know we can't go that way. Guess we go through the store. Now I should pass that progress and see. It seems you have reached the end of this return to Nunger and playable teaser. By Taldoran's beard, I remind you that this is not a demo or a vertical slice. I haven't swung my axe, nor did I smash some of those eight-legged ugly creatures with the hammer that I will find later for sure. Never judge a dwarf by the adventures he has not yet gone on. Okay, so that was the end of the playable teaser. No. The, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this game. Didn't, I'm guessing this is only the surface. We would barely scratch the surface of this game. But yeah, it looks... The concept is interesting and it looks quite fun to play. So, there definitely will be more on the channel. And if you also want to see that, then definitely hit the subscribe button. And and the like button and there'll be a lot more of Return to Nanquim but yeah until, until the next video